Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're staying sane in this weird thing going on right now with the coronavirus. I did want to make um, a video based on this hoarding shit needs to stop. You have people like me on disability, people that are on, you know, other assistance and government programs or, you know, right now some, a lot of people are out of a job. But then you have some people buying everything in the store. So by the time we actually get paid in money, there'll be nothing left in the stores. So it's getting ridiculous that you do not need, and I swear you do not need a hundred rolls of toilet paper. You won't even go through that in the last next six months, even if you had six people in your house. Like that's a bit much. And I think people are just very selfish and we need to come together and think about everyone else. Everybody needs stuff. It's not just you. It's not just, you know, your family. Everybody does. And it is so heartbreaking to see some moms that don't even have diapers or formula for their kids because other parents decided to buy it out all for their children and not share like normal people would normally do. You know, like we do on a daily basis. We only take what we need. Take what you need. Now, if everybody took what they need, things would be fine. But the problem is, is people are overbuying. This isn't a zombie apocalypse. This isn't. This isn't everything's about to be shut down type shit. All the essential places are still open here in New York. They cannot shut down essential places. Here's the deal. If you're sick, stay the fuck home. Just stay home. It's just common sense. None of this would have ever happened and got to the extreme it did is that people stayed home when they were sick or washed their hands and covered their coughs and sneezes. This would have never happened. And right now, New York, where I live, is the worst place to be right now for the coronavirus. Especially if you live in New York City, the five boroughs, you know, and Long Island, Westchester. They're all the worst areas. And it's a 15% chance of you end up in the hospital. So that means the seniors and the weakened immune system like me will end up in the hospital. But you got to understand the flu is the same way. And even Cuomo, Trump, everybody even said it. Liberals and Republicans don't even matter at this point. We're human beings. Leave the politic bullshit out of this. I'm tired of hearing, oh, I'm not going to listen to that person because they're Republican, or I'm not going to listen because they're Democrat. We are supposed to work as a team. I don't care what you like and what you don't like. It's common sense to just stay home because they're trying to prevent the spread. So if you're a carrier, even though you don't feel symptoms, if you stay home, you're saving lives. And even if you have a mild... You have it mild. Doesn't mean the person next to you that you're walking past in the food store is going to have it mild. If we just cared about other people and did what they're asking us to do, we would get to be free way sooner than what's happening right now. Because there's over 10,000 cases in New York with it. And let's be real. Like New York, they even said had the most testing people are being done. I guess maybe because of our hospitals and everything else, everybody's just working double time. But you have to understand that... There's way more than that. Way more than that. You can't test every American in the free world, man. I'll tell you that much. So you need to understand to stay home. Stop hoarding everything. You can be a carrier and now you're going out buying a thousand rolls of toilet paper. Really? You're so worried about the virus. Then why are you mask free in freaking Costco or BJ's hanging out with two other hundred fucking people wanting to do this? Doing exactly what you're doing. Why don't you just keep spreading it? Good idea. You're awesome. That's the purpose, is to stay home and not do what you're doing. Like, really, you're hoarding stuff, but if you're so worried about the virus, why are you risking yourself with a hundred other people going crazy over toilet paper in a store? You do realize you're now spreading it. That What you're doing actually defeats the purpose of us trying to have, you know, quarantine for everybody and keeping distance. Bet anything, you did not do six feet of distance of anything. Like, the world needs to calm the fuck down. Do what they're asking you to do and just stop. You need to care about other people. Other people need help too. And the people that can't get out to the store, like I can't really get to the store at all. You know, you're taking it up for everyone and I'm getting tired of it now. And I'm honestly tired of our president, vice president, fucking my governor of New York, getting on national news and telling people stop buying overdoing toilet paper. Like, dude, really? Really? You know it's bad when somebody has to make national news a toilet paper. Like, get it together, guys. Seriously. Buy what only you need. Stay home. That's what you should be doing. 
Because if you actually were worried about the virus as you're panicking all over freaking the world, then why the hell are you out hanging out with a hundred other people mask free, glove free, no hygiene whatsoever going on protecting yourself for freaking toilet paper? This is why they're trying to stop people. That's why they're shutting more stores down because people like you are going crazy over toilet paper. Not the virus. No, you're not worried about the virus. You don't care if you spread it to a person. You don't care whatever's happening. You're just going crazy. It needs to stop. Please care about your neighbor, down the street neighbor, whether it's freaking somebody in a, like a mile away from you. It doesn't matter. Buy what you need. Care about other people because people like me don't have the money like that to go freaking buying up toilet paper and go doing all that for our family as well. We buy what we need when we can. It's what happens when you're on a fixed income. Like, I'm really getting tired of the way people are acting. We're supposed to work as a community, as a team, and people are in it for themselves and selfish, and that's bothering the hell out of me. And I'm sure it's bothering the hell out of a lot of other people, too. I'm on disability. I get paid the third of every month. And most of my money has to go to my rent. And the whole thing is, if everybody's so worried about paying bills, why are they out spending all their money on toilet paper when it could go to your bills? Your bills are more of a necessity than 5,000 rolls of toilet paper. Let's just be real with that. So please care about somebody with a weakened immune system. Please care about somebody on disability. Do what you should. Buy what you need. Leave the rest for others and stop spreading germs to everyone else. It really needs to stop. I really hope, you know, things get better. I'm sure we'll get through this. I mean, if we can get through the flu of killing 40,000 people last year... And the year before that, 65,000 people, we will get through this. It's the worst time of year because it's winter and everybody's inside, which is why germs spread so much. But we really need to care about each other. We really need to. And we need to work as a team because you would not want to be in my shoes or anyone else's shoes that's struggling and waiting to get paid once a month to get what we need. And by the time we get there, it's not there. So I could bet you wouldn't want to be treated like that. So treat people the way you would want to be treated. Have a good day, all. God bless and stay safe.